what's up you guys it's your girl lala welcome back to my channel here today we're going to be doing the faux locks i'm going to provide you with all the information needed to achieve this look so please continue watching okay so here are all the products that we used um, all these things can be found at the beauty supply store but do not worry i will make sure everything is listed in the description box down below So we started off on freshly washed hair and then I plaited up her entire head in some small plaits. These are considered small for faux locks but on the natural hair these are like medium sized boxes that we did here. Okay so what you do is you're going to take the plait, you're going to put the crochet needle through and I pull through the fresh, the free tress hair first, and then you want to size it to the length of the plait. And we're going to do the same for the Marley hair. Pull it through, size it to the length of the plait. And then let's take the long piece of the Marley hair. We're going to wrap the long piece around all of the other free hair that's in our hand. We're going to use our thumb as a guide to wrap it around. So I'm going to do a closer uh, view right here where you see me just taking the Marley hair, using my thumb to just keep it tight and wrap it around. And you want to just constantly, consistently do that over and over until you reach the end. Uh, pretty much you're going to just run out of Marley hair to wrap. And then I'll also do a video of me adding more Marley hair at the end if you want, want it to come down further. So you'll see that later on in this video. So I'm just speeding it up here because we're just doing the same thing over and over. Okay, so once we get to the end, the Marley hair, we're just going to go ahead and just straighten that out. Continuously wrap it down until we're unable to wrap it any further. And then we're going to go ahead and take our crazy glue. And we're just going to dab a little bit on. And once that's dabbed on, take the little piece of Marley hair and stick it to that crazy glue. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do another one from start to finish so that you guys can get a better view, a close up look on how to achieve the faux lock. So here's the end of the faux lock, dotting that glue on again, just to make sure that there's no unraveling at all. And so here is the end of the hair. So pretty much if the Marley hair does not come down um, as far as enough as you like it, we're going to take a Marley hair, we're going to cut it in half. We're going to go to the end of the faux lock where we stopped and we're just going to go ahead and add a piece. So here it is. And I'm just taking one portion and then taking the other long part of the Marley hair and just wrapping it around 
and just continuing going down as far as we like to achieve the desired look that we're looking for. I do want to say that this did take me quite a few days to do. I was pregnant in this video, so this took a few days. Um, but this, we got the look desired that we wanted, and we were able to save on pricing. Um, where we live, Folox can run up to $400. Not saying that it's anything wrong with that price because of the amount of work that you put in, but we wanted to try to do it ourselves. Okay, so once we completed the hair i went ahead and took some tea tree oil and i rubbed that into the scalp really good and then i took some leave-in conditioner spray and i sprayed her scalp really well with that spray as well and then i took some lot of body and i just put that at the ends of the hair where the free tress hair hangs so i put that there and that was it you guys i went ahead and trimmed it to the desired length that we were looking for and this is pretty much the end look. I'm going to make sure I insert some pictures at the end for you guys of my hair as well as her hair. And if you like the video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.